well-being in Belgium. We can complain all we want, but is it really all bad? That's the question we're trying to answer in this video. To analyze well-being, we first have to quantify it. We decided to use the goals the Belgian government has come up with in regards to the UN Sustainable Development Goal number 3, good health and well-being. We have to consider living environment, financial situation, mobility and the ability to rely on others. We will talk about following three points specifically, satisfaction with life, restriction, daily activities and depression. Keep in mind that this is a selection, there are nine other goals that we won't cover. Let's start off with the worst three, limitation daily activities. These are people that can perform their day-to-day -day activities without help. It's the only point in which Belgium is going in the opposite direction, as shown in the graph. The blue arrow represents the direction we should be going in. Now onto a more positive note, satisfaction with life. As seen in the graph on the right, we are evolving in a positive direction. Note that stabilizing would be okay as well. Of course, not every topic is as black and white as the previous two. It brings us to our last topic, depression. We don't actually know in what direction we're going due to uh, multiple factors. Regardless, 6 to 8% of people being depressed isn't great, regardless of general trend. As said before, we have only covered a limited number of topics. For, the, uh, for additional data, you can check the table on the right. Now we have talked about Belgium itself, let's talk about how we compare to others. We'll be taking a look at subjective happiness since generally tied to well-being in general. In 2020 Europe's Sustainable Development Report, subjective happiness in Belgium was on average 619 out of 10. Our bigger neighbors France and Germany have slightly lower scores. Our other neighbors on the other hand have significantly higher averages. There is an even sharper contrast between us and the best scoring country in Europe, that being Finland. In summary, we can still improve a lot. That doesn't mean we're not on the right track. The worst scoring country on the list, Turkey, has a score of only 4.4.